Good morning and praise the Lord. Reverend Lydia coming to us with the word of the Lord. Another opportunity given to you and to me to live for the glory of God. This morning, I would want us to talk about being real with God. Be real with your creator. You are unique and you are special. It is proven that there are no fingerprints in the world that are similar. Be it for identical twins, be it for family members, there are no identical fingerprints. Each one of us is unique. My sister, my brother, you are unique. Therefore, God is calling you and me to be unique, to be authentic, to be yourself, not to try to be like someone else. God is calling you and me to be real. Shall we please read together 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verses 9 to 10. There was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel. Oh, that you would bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from all trouble and pain. And God granted him his request. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah. We come across this, this man. Scripture tells us that he was more honorable. He was upright. He was righteous. He was worthy of respect compared to his brothers. However, he knew his circumstances. He knew a secret that I think others did not know. But we are told that his mother gave him the name Jabez because he, she had given birth to him in pain. So Jabez would say that he was labeled pain. We would say that he was labeled sorrow. Despite what people knew about him, how honorable he appeared before others, he knew his condition. He knew that he was born in pain and that he caused pain. You know, just like this man, we, we may be praised by others. We may have a good reputation. People might speak well of us. We might be positioned in favorable places, actually might be highly educated, well-connected and well-blessed. But yet we know a secret about us that others may not know. You might have gone through pain or you might have caused severe pain. Or you might be knowing some struggles in your life and challenges that are secret sins that others do not know. You might be battling with something. It may be low self-esteem. It may be a struggle with a certain habit. It may be a generational issue that you alone knows about yourself. So we see that Jabez, despite being honorable, he knew that he had caused pain. He knew that he was labeled pain. So this man turns to the Lord. Him knowing his condition, he did not settle for the praises of people. He never focused on what people said about him. He never desired to please men, but he turned to God with heartfelt prayers and he cried out to the Lord. Jabez turned to God because he knew that it was only God 
that was able to break a curse of his life. A curse of causing pain or being a pain. And scripture tells us, my sisters and brothers, that Christ Jesus became a curse for us. So just like Jabez did, the Lord is calling you and me to turn to him and cry to him. The one, the only one who is able to deliver us. The only one who is able to break the generational curses of our lives. The only one who is able to say to our hearts, Yes, we need to cry to God so that all curses are broken of our lives. Because whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And in Christ Jesus we are free. Yes, and Galatians 2 20 says that we no longer live, but Christ lives in us. So God is calling you and me to live by faith. Jesus has become a curse in our lives. Jesus paid the price. He delivered you and me. So he wants us to walk and live in that freedom and deliverance. Just like Jabez turned and cried out to God, he did not cry to men. He did not turn to men, but he turned to the Lord and cried to God. May we learn to turn to God and cry out to God because he is able to break every legacy of pain. He is able to keep us from a line of failure. He is able to keep us from a line of adultery. A line of poverty. He is able to break a line of drunkenness, greed, name it, premature death of our lives. Let us learn to run to God. We also see that Jabez desired to please God. He desired the presence of God. He said, be with me and keep me from trouble and pain. He was clear about his desire. He desired the presence of God. We also see that he asked that the Lord would bless him and enlarge his territory. He was very specific. The Lord is calling us to be specific. Blessings do not come from men or women of God. Blessings come from God. Be specific when you come before your father. He is able to answer you. Scripture tells us that Jabez's request was granted. My sister, my brother, when we ask God, he listens to us and he answers us. So our asking shows that we are totally dependent on God. Let us run to God. Just like Jabez, let us be specific. Let us be real with God. Let us not pretend Let us tell God as the situation is in our hearts. And when we cry to the Lord, let's leave all these burdens before him. Give your requests and your heart to the Lord. And let me tell you, do not take it away from him. He will do great things for you. Leave it with the Lord. Be real, just like Jabez was. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to cry out to you. Learning from this man, he was real with you. Teach us to be real. Teach us to open up before you. Teach us to cry out to you alone because you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, much more than we can think or imagine. Lord, intervene in our lives. And we are confident that you will grant us the requests that we make to you. You will grant us the desires of our hearts because we delight in you. My brothers, my sisters, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord make your hearts rest in him. And may you be real every time you approach him. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.